Do you know that due to a limited supply of new flats and intense competition among home buyers drove prices of HDB resale flats to a historical high last year? Hi, I'm Christine San from the Research and Analytics Department at Orange Tea & Thai. Welcome to Orange Tea HDB Market Pulse. Today, we would like to share the latest market trends and property development that may be of interest to you. Well, nothing beats having solid data to guide our buying decisions. We utilise data analytics to better understand the latest market numbers and uncover new buying trends for you. Today, I would like to share three major property trends. Firstly, prices of resale flats rose to a new high last quarter. According to the HDB public housing data for Q4 2021, HDB resale prices surged 12.7% for the whole of 2021 which was the highest annual growth recorded since 2010. Prices are now at an all-time high. Secondly, a record number of flats will reach their five-year minimum occupation period MOP this year, which may lead to more flats being put on the market for resale. According to data.gov.sg, about 31,000 flats will be reaching MOP this year, above the nine-year average of around 16,700 MOP flats from 2013 to 2021. The highest number of MOP flats for 2021 will be located in Bukit Batok, Hongo, Sambawang and Woodlands. Thirdly, the impact of cooling measures could be minimal to moderate. To address the strong upward momentum in prices and rein in the housing market, the government introduced fresh cooling measures to tighten the loan-to-value LTV limit or the maximum amount that buyers can borrow from HDB. The impact of the cooling measures depends on the family's financial situation. For those who can afford to pay more cash or do not take a HDB loan, they will be less affected and likely to continue with their purchase. The resale market may face a slight slowdown this year. After soaring to new heights in 2021, prices are tipped to climb further, but at a slower rate owing to rising mortgage rates, inflation and tighter lending rules. We estimate that around 25,000 to 28,000 resale flats could be transacted this year. HDB resale prices may increase by 5 to 8%. We have come to the end of this quarter's episode. Do tune in to our other video series and visit our social media pages. And remember to like and subscribe to our channels. Thank you once again. I'm Christine San. See you in our next episode. Till then, take care and God bless.